Angel Gabriel was sent to Mary and the angel brought the message to Mary that she was specially chosen to be the mother of the Divine Savior. The angel said, Hail, full of grace, you are highly favored. You will conceive in your womb and bear a son and you will call his name Jesus. Mary was perplexed. Mary was confused and asked, how can this be? Because I am a virgin. The angel said, the power of the Most High will overshadow you. The Holy Spirit will come upon you. And therefore the child to be born will be holy the Son of the Most High God. My dear brothers and sisters, the beginnings of our salvation history is this moment. Let us thank God for this beautiful moment when God, in a powerful way, intervenes in human history. God decides to save us. Let us prepare our minds and hearts to receive Jesus into our hearts, into our lives, by being sorry for all our sins and imperfections and asking for God's pardon and mercy. I confess to Almighty God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have, have greatly sinned. sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Amen.
Glory to God in the highest, and, and on earth, earth peace to people of good will. We, we praise you, we bless you, you, we adore you, we glorify you, we, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Let us pray for the grace to experience the presence of Christ in our hearts and in our lives, and especially in the world today. O oh God, who will that your word should take on the reality of human flesh in the womb of the Virgin Mary, grant, we pray, that we who confess our Redeemer to be God and man, memory to become partakers even in his divine nature, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. The Lord spoke to Ahaz and said, Ask the Lord your God for a sign for yourself, coming either from the depths of Sheol or from the heights above. No, Ahaz answered, I will not put the Lord to the test. Then Isaiah said, Listen now, house of David. Are you not satisfied with trying the patience of men without trying the patience of God too? The Lord himself therefore will give you a sign. It is this, the maiden is with child and will soon give birth to a son, whom she will call Emmanuel, a name which means God is with us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response. Here I am, Lord. I come to do your will. Here, Here I am, Lord. I come to do your will. You do not ask for sacrifice or offerings, but an open ear. You do not ask for holocaust and victim. Instead, here am I. Here I am, Lord. I come, I come to do your will. In the scroll of the book it stands written that I should do your will. My God, I delight in your law in the depth of my heart. Here, Here I am, Lord, I, I come, come to do your will. Your justice I have proclaimed in the great assembly. My lips I have not sealed, you know it, O Lord. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. I have not hidden your justice in my heart, but declared your faithful help. I have not hidden your love and your truth from the great assembly. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Second reading, a reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Bull's blood and God's blood are useless for taking away sins. 
And this is what Christ said on coming into the world. You who wanted no sacrifice or oblation, prepared a body for me. You took no pleasure in holocaust or sacrifices or sin. Then I said, just as I was commanded in the scroll of the book, God, here I am. I am coming to obey your will. Notice that he says first, you did not want what the law lays down as the things to be offered, that is, the sacrifices, the oblations, the holocaust, and the sacrifices for sin. And you took no pleasure in them. And then he says, Here I am, I am coming to obey your will. He is abolishing the first sort to replace it with the second. And this will was for us to be made holy by the offering of his body made once and for all by Jesus Christ. The word of God. Thanks, Thanks to be God. God. was made flesh, he lived among us, and we saw his glory. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 1, verses 26 to 38. The angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. He went in and said to her, Rejoice, so highly favored, the Lord is with you. She was deeply disturbed by these words and asked herself what this greeting could mean. But the angel said to her, Mary, do not be afraid. You have won God's favor. Listen. You are to conceive and bear a son, and you must name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his ancestor David. He will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and his reign will have no end. Mary said to the angel, But how can this come about, since I am a virgin? The Holy Spirit will come upon you, the angel answered, and the power of the Most High will cover you with its shadow. And so the child will be holy and will be called Son of God. Know this too. Your kinswoman Elizabeth has in her old age herself conceived a son. And she whom people call barren is now in her sixth month, for nothing is impossible to God. I am the handmaid of the Lord, said Mary. Let what you have said be done to me. And the angel left her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. 
my dear sisters and brothers, the Annunciation of the Lord. This is the central point of human history. We can say with this central point, history is divided as history before Christ and history after Christ. This is the moment that the whole human race has been waiting for. Now another has been established. Another that joins heaven and earth. The word becomes flesh. God becomes a human person. God becomes a human person so that we humans can become divine. God's promise to save the world because of the fruit of our first parents' sin is being unfolded now. God is faithful to his promises. And at this fullness of time, God sends this angel to this woman. This woman who was specially chosen and prepared. This woman called Mary who is sinless. This woman called Mary who is full of grace. She is the perfect person to receive the word of God. So that the word of God can become flesh. And she becomes the representative of the entire humanity because God is becoming a human person for the sake of humanity. The Spirit of God is descending upon the entire humanity through the person of Mary. Yes, my dear sisters and brothers, Mary did not understand anything much but she was humble enough, faithful enough to surrender herself to God's call and his will. She said, let it be to me according to your word. And with that, the incarnation of the Son of God becomes a reality. The word becomes flesh in her womb and in the world. My dear sisters and brothers, the incarnation of the Son of God, we can say, is an ongoing reality. Even today we need Christ to become flesh. Even today we need the presence of Christ in our midst. And for that, God sends his angels to all of us, to you and to me, asking, are you willing to listen to my word, to take my word into your heart, to give flesh to my son in the world today. It is through our presence in the world, it is through our willingness to receive the word of God, it is through our witnessing of the presence of Christ that we can make Christ present in the world of today. As we all know, there is so much need for the presence of Christ. There is so much need for the world to become fresh in the world today. The world is shattered. The world is in fear. The world is in anxiety and worry. And this is the moment. More than any other moment, we need the presence of Christ. The world should become fresh. And together with Mary, let us say, let it be to me, done to me, according to your word, so that through all of us, through our presence, Christ's presence becomes a reality and he brings that much needed solace, that much needed healing, and that much needed salvation to the entire world. And may God bless all of us.
Let us all together profess our faith. I believe in God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and, earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. so that she who is aware that her beginnings lie in the incarnation of your only begotten Son, may rejoice to celebrate his mysteries on the solemnity, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. I am with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to, to the, the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the Virgin Mary heard with faith that the Christ was to be born among men for men's sake. By the overshadowing power of the Holy Spirit, lovingly she bore him in her immaculate womb, that the promises to the children of Israel might come about and the hope of nations be accomplished beyond all telling. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise, as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, 
so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples so saying, Take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And what's more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this soul of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. <laughs> We celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, or we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Oswald our Archbishop, his auxiliary bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, who welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be choirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom, thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said here, apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Live not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and, and with your spirit. spirit. Let us now offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter on my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. <coughs> Confessing that he who was conceived of the Virgin Mary is to God and to man, we may through the saving power of his resurrection merit to attain eternal joy. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. But we are heads and pray for God's blessing. May God, through the childbearing of the Blessed Virgin Mary, willed in His great kindness to redeem the human race, be pleased to enrich you with His blessing. Amen. Amen. May you know always and everywhere the protection of her through whom you have been found worthy to receive the order of life. Amen. 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 May you who have devoutly gathered on this day carry away with you the gifts of spiritual joys and heavenly rewards. Amen. 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 And may the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.